back to another video of base code the CSS basic tutorial series in this video we are going to our topic is the CSS margin property so we are going to using this videos this CSS margin property how actually we can use this margin property and how actually write this the shortened takes of this margin property so all of this thing we are going to explain into this video here so you can see this we have added basic title that is here and there is I have added a class name and inside of this I have added some lorem text and here is, you can see that I have added that internal CSS file open here and I have tried the basic selector that is basic CSS that is margin padding box sizing and font family so this is the basic CSS there is not going to here is the margin zero not don't be understand about it it will be understand after complete this video here so here you can see for these classes we have some style here this we added some padding so padding I have an, another video about this padding you can check out on my channel CSS tutorial series there is width and here I added this background color and border radius and this font size so here you can see this output on this right side you can see this output here you can see like this so how let's go to set up this margin property before margin property I'm going to tell you that margin property we have the four property inside of this margin that is top bottom right and left so there's total four property we can set this margin like this so let's try enter this one by one so here first of all I'm going to enter this margin that is top from the margin top okay from the margin top here I'm going to add you can define as this any type of edges per system of this your parameters so you can use the percentage as your pixel of any type of things you can enter here this just like this so here I'm going to enter in that's just a percentage but you can add if you want to 20 pixel there is no issue I'm just accepting that is the percentage here so that it could be the percentage as set as usual here so let's set up it you can see that margin from the top side you can see get some spaces here and let's set the margin from the left side so let's set the margin left and here I'm also I'm going to add this the same percentage that is 20 percent and you can see we have some space from the left side and now we will be try to this right from the right side but if you don't want to make it right side right side always every time we have this some spaces so there is no need to right side property writing but if you need to write in this property so you can write it here simply so that is here I'm going to add this 20 percent also this but if we add this 20 percent it will be not affected here because we have some so lot of spaces inside of this 80 percent total so here I'm going to add this bus just for demo testing here for this just the setting of this and now I'm going to set a margin from the bottom side that is will be from the below here side okay that is margin bottom will work from these places to these places so let's set this margin here bottom here I'm going to set this the same percentage that is 20 percent when I set this you can see this is affecting like this but this bottom 20 percent it should be come here but it's not working because of this margin top we have this margin top property this is 20 percent this was a 20 percent distance this 20 percent distance from these places but this bottom property will not work because of this bottom and right property will not work because of these places here so this property this there is this property left and top this both property this two property always when you are going to set a margin on any property this first of all this was this your element of design it will be recommended for this first of all this basically it's preferred to that margin top and left so it's the most important property this is the main main property basically we use it and it is the most preferred to this in this style sheet of this box model so if you don't know about box model in next video i will talk about this box model here so let's talk about this right css this is the total this four property the four ways to writing that margin here like this so now i'm going to comment this all property and now i'm going to learn about you that tell you that about this margin shortened tricks so let's type this only that margin so that's only margin and inside of this if you enter n value one value that is margin 20 percent so it will be work from the both side that will be top left bottom right and this whole side it will be take a space around to 20 percent so let's save it you can see there is no sense because it was setting that this property is setting it is all of this property size and here also you can decline this all of this margin like this so this first one will be work for the top bottom and if we write here this 10 percent so it will be work from this this or work from this here to you can see this right to left this right and left so let's set it you can see we got this from the left is 10 percent and also the right side 10 percent so this is things here so if you want to make some more about this specific there's the four for all of these things so here we can add more 
below that is this will be from the right side 20% so I know that this this will be from the 20% and now here we are going to add more percentage here <coughs> so here we can see this it will be from these places from this left side it will be applied this from the left side will be 20 50% so this margin this shortened tricks we have apply this total four property has like this but if one or two don't also make some this property from this left to right and left we don't want to make for any property using so you have another text that is auto property okay let's make some cap small caps okay now you can see it will be set in the center this item is center from this side and this side it will be take some equal space from this places here this place you can get this equal space if there is the margin property like using this auto property it always make our content goes to the center of our skin so you can like this you can use this type of this two property but mostly when we are going to responsive working any website for responsive property so that place is basically use this type of margin property that is first top and bottom and this auto it will be make this skin this all of our property make the skin the center here from left and right it will be center so this type of we can use this margin property so i have shared with you that this margin total explain that is four element of this margin property and this one is the margin shortened text of this margin shortened property basically maximum time we use that this shortened type of this margin typing so hope you understand that how margin actually work and how we can actually set the margin so hope you interested this video please like on this video and please subscribe our channels and please share this video with your friends and thanks for watching